obviously the, the stadium's closed and everything at the moment, but you're still very busy. What are the community sports trust up to at the moment? Yeah, obviously it's um, very strange times for everybody and very different times that we're all working in. So um, predominantly for the Community Sports Trust, we, we had to sit down you know, very quickly and, and devise some plans about how we were going to continue our engagement with the local community. Obviously, the community, the fan base are hugely important to us and um, you know, we wanted to be able to support them through this um, you know, difficult time that everybody's in, um, but find you know, meaningful ways of doing that and not just be bombarding people with stuff every day. So, you know, we sat down and even had a little bit of a, of a plan through what we were going to, what we were going to do. So initially it was, it was our thoughts was around similar to, to what the club did with phoning people was contacting everybody um, with a phone call, um, particularly the vulnerable groups and those with um, underlying medical conditions. And initially that was support was, as, do they need anything? Do they need shopping? Do they, could we help with getting medication from them? And there were certainly some cases where we'd done some shopping and, and a little bit of running around for people. So that was, that was really important to have that initial contact uh, um, with, with our fan base and, and the community participants. Um, you know, that led to uh, more wider conversations and um, quickly we, we realised that actually, you know, the projects that we put on are, are, are vitally important, but probably the most important part of it is the social side of it. So people really get to um, meet new friends at our activities and, and, and take part in new activities. And obviously that's taken away from them. So the opportunity to talk and meet up with those people um, has been taken away. So we developed um, support groups and we have about 12 or 15 support groups a week that are, are going across our different projects and different teams where people can um, conference call in and basically we have a chat and we and we support each other uh, there's a little bit of a educational part to it as well where we talk about some of their some of their fitness programs or nutrition um, and sleep patterns and uh, and everything that's um, people are going through at this awkward time at the moment so um, you know that's that was our initial point of contact was to was to make some um, um, contact with the local community and see as a football club if we can support in any way and I'm sure people across social media may have seen some of the educational packs, some of the things you've been doing for the kids as well. So talk a little bit about those things you've been setting up. Yeah, I think, again, with sitting down and looking at what was needed, you could, you could quickly see that there was, I, I wouldn't say a bit of fear, but a bit of anxiety around um, parents and having to homeschool and thinking, well, how are we going to do that? I think the schools have been magnificent in some of the work that they've sent out to parents and, and supported parents with that. But there's a real anxiety about what that looks like when you've got children at home all day, every day. Um, so we felt that we could um, impact in that area. So we've made a, a number of different educational packs, as you would expect, they're all around, based around the football. Um, so football maths and, and, and different challenges that we, we've set up. And uh, they've gone down really well. And, um, you know, we've, we've been able to send them out to, to lots of families and support them through their homeschooling. And I believe there's also been some sort of, sort of fitness sessions and clubs using Zoom to kind of everybody logging in together and, and trying to make sure they get, they get their exercise up. Yeah, I think so. I think obviously um, fitness and, and mental health that I mentioned earlier is really, really important for us to, to make sure that we can sort of support our participants and fan base on. So, you know, you've got to look at these difficult times in different ways and we're all looking at different ways that we can put the sessions on. So, yeah, we've had some Zoom fitness sessions, which are they put a smile on people's faces you know they're a little bit different but um you know obviously getting everyone together doing a little bit of fitness work is it's been great to be able to do that but supporting that and backing it up with we know that we work with young children right up to our more older uh, generation so devising fitness programs to meet everyone's needs and sending them out to them putting them across social media on the website's been again another important area of our work to engage with uh, the community and as you said before, it's a lot about ad adaptation at the moment, people trying to get, make the best of the situations they're in. How can people get involved with you and try to, as I say, make the best from, from the difficult situation they're in at the moment? Yeah, what we try to do is obviously we, we, we haven't got that direct contact, uh, as everyone's aware at the moment, with these difficult circumstances. So it's, it's been pushing it out across social media, um, on the website, everything, all the education packs that we put out there. 
are on there. All our details are out there. So if there's someone who's not engaged with us at the moment that would like to, they can contact us. I can put them in touch with any of the support groups that we have going at the moment and uh, they can take part in them. So really it's across social media and the website at present. And we're past Easter holidays now and the sun's out to kind of greet the, the spring in. Um, what kind of projects have you got coming up in the next few weeks and, and time to, to come? Yeah, I'm not sure that anybody knows quite what days it is to, really, but um, obviously it's back to school, virtual school. So the education packs have, have been pushed out this morning and uh, we've got lots of parents contacting us and sending that. But moving forward, um, with our work with the NHS, um, which is a really important area, um, obviously the NHS, the frontline staff, the social care staff, we're all doing a fantastic job and we're really grateful for all the work that they're doing. So as a football club, looked at how we can maybe work together and, and, and put something out there that might be beneficial to the whole community because you know we've got our women's football team who, who obviously I'm the manager of and um, we've got three or four players that are still out there working and it's you know it's very prevalent to, to myself that I think about them on a daily basis that they're out there working particularly within school settings social care settings and at former from Paul hospitals so you know we're very proud of the work that they've done so We've been working with the, the, the NHS in, in devising some, some daily tips that are going to go out across social media and really putting some information out there for people to, to link into should they need further support or further advice. So I mentioned fitness and nutrition and sleep and you know, you know, it's difficult for people to get regular sleep patterns during this particular uh, period of lockdown. So maybe we might be able to give out some daily tips there and, and for those that are experiencing a bit more difficulties, some links to go and get further support. So, you know, we're really grateful for the NHS and as a football club to partner with them and, and push this out over the next few weeks to our local community is something that we're really proud of. And just as a final point, how are you and how are the rest of your staff? Because of course you're, you're dealing with this as well. Yeah, the, obviously the, the staff are um, used to being very active. They're, you know, they're a hard working team that I've got within community and they do great work. And, I, you know, I'm proud of the work that they do. And obviously they're not out there delivering what they normally do, but um, they've all been fantastic in terms of thinking of these ideas that come up with this as a real team effort that we, we've put together to, to try and keep our engagement going. So it's been challenging but it's, it's challenging for everybody and uh, what we want to do is like I say as a football club and as a community sports shop is, is to support our local community.